The FEMA guidelines state that if your home is damaged by a flood and it's in a flood prone area and the cost to repair your home is more than 50% of the market value of your home, then you are required to elevate your home and get it in compliance with the current building codes. If you receive a letter from the city saying that your home is substantially damaged more than 50%, you have really four options. Um, the first is to elevate your home and to get it in compliance with the current building codes. The second is to relocate, and that's just you know moving your home or your business away and out of harm's way. The third is demolition, and that's just tearing down your home or your, your building, and you can sell the property for land value. The fourth, which is really only available for non-residential properties, is flood proofing, and that involves putting in additional uh, safe proofs for the, for the property so that it doesn't flood in the future. Unfortunately, no. The flood insurance company will only pay you for the amount of damage caused by the flood. So it, even if your home is 50% damaged or more, does not necessarily mean you're gonna get your policy limits. There is a coverage in standard flood insurance policies um, that is purchased in addition to building coverage for increased cost of compliance. It's called ICC coverage. That can help with elevating your home or doing one of the other four options that we've discussed. Federal assistance may become available for those affected homeowners that need to elevate their home above the base flood elevation in their area. So please visit disasterassistance.gov to register with FEMA and they'll make you aware of any grants that become available for that purpose.